right. Shalom, most high in Christ. Bless everyone. I hope everyone is having a beautiful and wonderful day so far. Today, we are making lazy meatloaf. All right, we making meat, lazy meatloaf with a smothered in gravy with mashed taters and broccoli and cauliflower, you guys, okay? So for this, I make a lot, so you know, you could get the amount of ground beef you need for your size family, you know what that is. But the ingredients is that I'm using and that you will also need is I have 15 pounds of ground beef. You don't need that, but you know, if you got a large family like I do, then you probably will need it. But anyway, 15 pounds of ground beef, garlic powder, onion powder, season salt, onions, green peppers, red and yellow peppers and five eggs okay so we're going to get started and uh, make sure that you preheat your oven to 350. also you guys please make sure that you like comment on um, on this video and hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every time i upload a new video all right, you guys, I don't do measurements. I just eyeball it as I go. Okay, so starting with the season salt. This is probably about, mm, probably about uh, three and a half tablespoons of season salt. Same thing with the garlic powder. I mean, the onion powder, three and a half tablespoons same thing with the garlic three and a half tablespoons okay I'm going to put this away because I do believe in cleaning as you cook of the uh, green peppers so put in your green peppers And those beautifully chopped onions. Man, I love using onions. I love onions and I love peppers in my in my food, so I'm recording, so you guys uh, just make sure you follow along with me. Yeah, onion. This was now the uh, yellow and the red peppers that I put in here. I use one red pepper, uh, one um, yellow pepper, one orange pepper, and of course, you know, the green peppers and the onions. And we're going to put the eggs in here five eggs i made sure that they were room temperature you guys usually people put breadcrumbs in their meatloaf but that's why this is called a lazy meatloaf suppose you don't have any breadcrumbs suppose you don't have any bread to make you some homemade breadcrumbs you gotta do what you gotta do and make do with what you got right all right so that's what this is for 
the eggs is also going to help it to stay together. So we're going to go ahead and mix this up and I'll be right back in a minute. Okay. Okay, you guys, um, as you can see, I did not shape the meatloaf yet. I just took it. I put all the ingredients in, uh, put it in an aluminum pan. I'm about to shape this up and I'm about to throw this in the oven. Make sure you guys preheat your oven on to 350, okay? And um, that way, you know, your oven will be nice and hot by the time you get ready to throw, put your meatloaf in there. And this is a very large meatloaf, you guys. I Last time I made this, I thought that this meatloaf was probably going to last me maybe about eh, three days. Eh, boy, was I wrong. <laughs> this meatloaf, I lie to you not, guys, only lasts in my house for like two days. I was all happy when I made the meatloaf. I was like, yeah, I'm going to have me meatloaf. It's going to last a couple of days. You ain't got cuts. It's going to relax. <laughs> my kids had other other intentions. I'm like, what well, the heck? I'm like, y'all just like to see me cook. That's what that is. You know? But it's all good. You know? You want to see your mama cook? I know I could throw that. They, they just like to see mommy in the kitchen working and stuff. But, you know, it is what it is, you know? Yeah, I'm going to make a uh, some uh, homemade gravy once I put this in the oven. So I'm going to turn you right on over and let you guys see how I make this gravy as well. So, yeah, this is a nice size meatloaf. If you guys can see this, this is a very, very large meatloaf. Some people put tomato paste in it. Usually I do. But if I'm making um, homemade gravy and stuff like that, I won't put the tomato sauce in here. The tomato paste, I mean. I won't put it in here. But, I, I you know, like I said, sometimes you, you just be wanting to make something quick for the kids to eat. And this is really good. And I, again, as I call it, lazy meatloaf, because you may not have all of the ingredients like um, breadcrumbs and, you know, uh, some of the other stuff that, you know, people put in there. So, me, I, I, I make my, dip, my meatloaf different ways. So, okay, you guys. Yeah, this meatloaf is shaped up really nice. And it is ready to go into the oven. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'm gonna get back to you guys in a minute. I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna start on this gravy. I'll be back in a second. Oh my God, this thing has been recording the whole time. <laughs> okay. I'm just waiting for this oil to get hot. So that's why I could make the, the uh, gravy. I didn't even realize this thing was still recording. <laughs> okay. Well, for the gravy, for those of you that don't know how to make homemade gravy, you're going to need some peppers. Of course, you know, I got some orange and yellow peppers here. I got some red, green, and some onions up here. You're going to need flour, garlic, onion, black pepper, little pinch of salt, and some better than bouillon. Not sure if y'all can see this, but yeah, better than bouillon. And spring water, cause we don't use no uh, no sink water around here. Okay, this is how you test it. That's old school. You ain't got to throw no water in there. Listen, if you can put your hand over here and it's real nice and hot, 
That mean it's done. I'll give it a few more minutes. I like mine's piping hot. <sighs> yeah, you guys. So, as I said, I hope y'all all having a good day so far. So far, so good for me. I can't complain. All praises to the most high. Got to give credit where credit is due. He woke us up this morning. All praises. So, yeah. Okay, I think this might be ready. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it could be a little hotter, but. Yeah, that's the style you want, y'all. As I said before, I like a lot of onions and peppers and my uh my gravy. If you watch my uh videos, you'll see that I really like peppers. So you'll always find me using a lot of peppers. Lots and lots of peppers. Onions. I love red onions too. Oh my goodness, y'all. Red onions are so, so good. Mm-hmm. Now, we're going to let this cook down until it's translucent. I like my, my gravy to be a certain color, you guys. So... I'm going to... I need to touch that put it over here. <laughs> I'm going to let this get a little translucent. I like to cover mine up while it's doing that. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, if you see me sitting down a lot, it's because I have severe spinal stenosis and I can't stand for so long and I, I'm, I can't lift anything heavy because you know my back is really messed up from a, a car accident that I had years ago. So... Yeah, if I could go out here and get me a J-O-B and work, believe you me, a sister would definitely be out there making that money, honey. Yes. <laughs> oh, you know, bills get backed up. Yeah, you, 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 you need to have some sort of money coming in, you know what I mean? So, yeah, this is what I do. I cook. I clean. I try. I, well... My house don't get dirty, so, you know, I, I still clean, but once in a, I think it's maybe like once a month, we'll do a, a general cleaning, a thorough general cleaning throughout the house. But, you know, for the most time, for the most part, it's mainly just cleaning, every, make sure everything is clean and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Other than that. I don't know, you guys. <laughs> we got a lot of, I got a lot of stuff on my menu that I plan to make for you guys. Um, my uh, Italian meatball heroes. I'm going to show you guys how to make that. I'm going to also show you guys how to make uh, my home fries with broccoli, sausage, and cheese. I'm going to show you guys how I make uh, my pot roast and a cream of mushroom sauce. I'm going to do one with the gravy and the other one in the cream of mushroom sauce. Just to let you guys know that when I do make my pot roast, I do slow cook my pot roast the night before. So this way, when I come to you guys with the video, um, the meat will already be done because I cook it, you know, the night before so I can slow cook overnight. That's the way I like my food. <laughs> also, um, also, the it's, it's just a lot of things um, that I'm going to be making for you guys. Some Dominican beans. Oh my goodness. I love Dominican beans. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. You got, oh my goodness. The recipe that I have for the Dominican beans. Woo! It's going to set your wig back. Just waiting on that blue to get done. That's a bad washing. Just to pull me off. Wow. Mm -hmm. So. That's just being fat. Sorry to interrupt. So, what you cooking? Get out of here. Mm -hmm. Always in my dad's kitchen wanting to know what I made. Leave me alone. Huh? 
<laughs> Y'all gotta excuse them. Oh yeah, this is cooking now. Nice, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and throw throw some flour up in here. Hold on, you guys. Hold on. Now I'm gonna use about eh, three and a half of these spoons of flour. Oh yeah, before I got rudely interrupted, <laughs> I was telling y'all, yeah, you know, I'm going to make some Dominican beans. Oh my goodness, the recipe that I have for you guys when I make uh, the Dominican beans. Um, I got it from uh, uh, someone that I know from uh, Delaware. And oh my goodness, you guys... Mm, mm, mm. If you don't know about homemade sofredo, I'm not talking about the sofredo you get in the jar. I'm not talking about that, the Goya one. I ain't talking about that one. That one is good. It's, it's, it's good. It, it'll get the job done, you know, um, for what you need if you don't know how to make the homemade uh, sofredo. But, honey, the daggone, uh, the Dominican beans. I'm going to make that for you guys. I'm going to let y'all see the recipe. I'm going to let you see how I make that. So, y'all can make y'all some Dominican beans. Yes, honey. With some, uh, with some daggone, uh, rice. With some yellow rice. And some, uh, probably some steak. I don't know. I don't know. You you let me know what y'all want to see me make that way. Whether y'all want to see me make it with steak or I could make it with chicken. It don't really make a difference. You know what I mean? I'm I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it good. And y'all gonna be like, we should have had this recipe sooner. Cause yeah, I'm gonna try to tell you. When I made them Dominican memes, my kids tore that junk out the frame. Yes, they did. I was like, well, alrighty then. <laughs> you know, but yeah, them Dominican beans was good, honey. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I plays no games when it comes to making them Dominican beans. You hear what I tell you? Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, the Dominican. I'm gonna make the 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 beans. I'm gonna also make um, what is it? Um, my big ziti. Oh. <laughs> for you, for those of you that don't know about my baby ZD, you better ask somebody. <laughs> my baby ZD is off of the charts. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to be making some baby ZD for you guys. Uh, what else I'm going to be making for you guys? Um, my turkey breast smothered in a homemade turkey gravy. I'm going to make that for you guys. And I'm going to make uh, probably some boneless barbecue beef ribs now um you can use the flank steaks oh my goodness honey i'm telling you when i show you guys how to make what i be making and what i use see some stuff i use just basic onion powder garlic powder season salt you know a little bit of black pepper a little bit of regular salt but some stuff Oh, I don't use just those regular seasons. Oh, yeah, I use sesame. I use that too. Mm -hmm, yeah, honey, I know about the sesame. Yes, indeedy. And it's another uh, person that I watch on um, on YouTube. Her name is Alicia Southern Crew. Now, some things that I've seen that she make is really good. You know what I mean? Um, 
I could put my own little twist on it. But she she makes some some pretty good stuff. So you can go over there and check out her channel. I'll probably leave her um her channel down in the description box for you guys, so you can also check out her channel. You know, big up to Alicia Southern crew out in um Mississippi and stuff. Yeah, so she is on the Gulf Coast of Mississippi. Um, yeah, so um, yeah. It's a, it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff that you know is going on out here. You got to worry about you know getting sick and stuff like that. You know you just got to keep yourself healthy and make sure you're washing your hands and you know making sure that you're doing everything that you need to do. You get what I'm saying, you guys? And, you know just just stay safe out here. It's crazy out here in this world, man. You know. I know my brother, he probably eyeballing this channel too, seeing what I'm cooking, get him, get him some little ideas. <laughs> hey, Alan, I see you. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you know. Yeah, you know, other than that, it's, it's pretty alright, you know. Make this gravy, make the gravy. Look at this, y'all. Look at him, look at him. Yeah, this smells so good, y'all. This smells so, so good. Now, imagine putting this gravy with these peppers and onions all over your mashed potatoes. Oh, my goodness. Man, you talking about something that going good. Mm. Comfort food is definitely in. I, I like, I love, I love when the fall come in. Um... Fall is probably one of my favorite seasons because it ain't too hot, it ain't too cold. You know what I mean? It, it's it's just it's a good season. That is spring. Oh my goodness, I love spring. I like when everything smells so fresh and so new. You know. So uh, yeah, this is almost ready for me to. Put that water in here. So I'll get back to you one second, you guys. Hold on. Okay, you guys, I'm back. My gravy is is thick. Well, not thick, 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 but it's getting here. So I'm I'm just gonna put these the uh, butter and the bouillon in here. Two nice big heaping spoons of the better than bouillon. I like the one with the uh, the sautéed onions. I, I really like that one. That's my favorite one to use. So. Okay. Whoops. Let me go rinse this off, you guys. <laughs> See, I rinsed it off. <laughs> okay. Garlic. That's probably about a tablespoon and a half. Same thing with onion powder. About a tablespoon and a, a, tablespoon and a half. Uh About a tablespoon and last but not least a little bit of salt oh, one minute okay that should have been about a tablespoon I'm gonna put that back right there put this stuff away And I will go ahead and let this finish thickening up.
Yeah, you see that great video? That's pretty good. And then I'm gonna set this to the side and I'm gonna let that meatloaf go ahead and finish cooking. And then once that's finished cooking, then I'm gonna bring you back so that way you can see the meatloaf. Excuse me, you guys. That pepper. Woo! Well, oh yeah, this gravy is nice and thick, honey. Yes, baby. Nice and thicky. <laughs> I'm only playing, you guys, but yes, honey, look at that great baby. Dang, my mama taught me well. My mama and my husband, they taught me very well. So, my husband, big shout out to Dion from North Kekaleke. My husband from North Carolina, you guys. Yes, I have a country husband. <laughs> and he likes to eat, trust me. So, yeah. I love him so much. He is such a big supporter. You know, so yeah, this gravy is good. This is this is nice and thick, you guys. It's just the way I want it, the right consistency, the right thickness of um how I want it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring you guys back um as soon as that meatloaf is done, so this way I can let you guys see exactly how everything looks, okay? And I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I am back, and the meatloaf is finally done. See, not sure if you can see that, but yes, that big, scrumptious looking meatloaf is absolutely done. So, what I'm going to do. I'm gonna plate up this so that way you can see, um, you know, everything. So the mashed potatoes are done, the broccoli is done, the broccoli and cauliflower is done, and uh, you see me make the gravy, the gravy is done. So I'm gonna plate this up and then I'll show you back in a second. All right, you guys, I just wanted to come back and let you see the finished product. Okay, we got the meatloaf with gravy, mashed potatoes with gravy, broccoli, and cauliflower. Oh, yes, honey, yes! Look at, look at here, look at that. Yes, honey. You Look guys, I did good, not right? mean to say pot roast. I meant to right? say meatloaf. <laughs> Forgive me for that error. Delicious pot roast, y'all. Smell it! <laughs> Girl, let me tell you. Let me tell y'all. If you like this video, please, please hit that like button. Okay? Subscribe to the channel. And turn on that notification bell so that way you will be notified of any, any new videos that I post, okay? And with that, I'm going to say I will see y'all in the next uh, video. Ooh, just to get that one last look, y'all. One last look. Mmm. That good mashed potatoes and broccoli, cauliflower, and meat loop. With that, you guys, I'm going to say shalom. Most high, Christ bless. Have a wonderful and blessed evening.